Module 4 Contextual Factors What are contextual factors? Contextual factors are things about a person or their environment that can positively or negatively affect functioning in daily life. The ICF divides these factors into personal and environmental factors. Personal factors are individual characteristics of the person, such as their age, personality, beliefs, education, and gender. Environmental factors are things around the person, such as the physical and social environment, for example, accessibility of infrastructure and attitudes of family and society. How can contextual factors influence my child's functioning? Challenging environmental factors can make functioning difficult in some areas of your child's life. On the other hand, supportive environments can help children function better and have more fun. To understand this more, let us meet Sarah and see how supportive and challenging contextual factors can influence Sarah's overall development and our desire to go to school. Sarah has weak leg and back muscles. This makes it difficult for Sarah to walk independently. Impairment to Sarah's brain has also affected her speech, which makes talking to family and friends difficult for her. Due to difficulty in walking and talking, Sarah is missing out on important activities like going to school, making friends, and playing with them. Scenario 1. Challenging contextual factors hindering participation Sarah's parents might be having feelings of shame or guilt for Sarah's cerebral palsy. These feelings might be stronger if society also has a stigma towards disability. Sarah's parents might not have sufficient finances to support Sarah's healthcare needs. These factors might prevent Sarah's parents from seeking a health professional. This might lead to Sarah being confined to home and poorer health and lack of opportunities for optimal development. Sarah's deteriorating health might cause more worries, leading to stress, poor social and work life, and poor mental health for Sarah's parents. Thus, we see how negative contextual factors can hinder Sarah's development and the quality of life for her and her family. Scenario 2. Positive contextual factors favoring participation. Sarah is an enthusiastic girl and wants to go to school. Her parents' optimistic outlook might encourage them to see a therapist to facilitate Sarah's desire to go to school. Sarah's therapist should think of Sarah's overall development and might give her a wheelchair to help her move around. The therapist can refer Sarah's parents to other healthcare professionals like an occupational therapist, counselor, social worker, and speech therapist. All healthcare professionals can help parents in managing Sarah's cerebral palsy and can suggest ways to help Sarah become functional and join school. Social worker and counselor can help parents in managing emotional issues and finding community services. The occupational therapist can recommend ways for Sarah's parents to make their house more accessible for Sarah to move around and function better. For help with talking, a speech therapist can give Sarah a computer talker. The school can provide Sarah with an accessible school bus, infrastructure, classroom, and a school aid, where she can learn and move freely like other children. Teachers, friends, staff, and people in the community can keep a positive outlook towards Sarah, encourage and provide her with opportunities to learn and play, and be patient with her while she is learning to use her wheelchair and the computer talker in the new environment. The community can advocate for accessible roads, transportation, and community services where Sarah and other children can live and move freely. Governments can help societies by providing financial support and enforcing laws to create accessible communities and support services needed to accommodate Sarah's needs. Media services can help Sarah and her family by spreading awareness about cerebral palsy. Thus, we see how positive contextual factors can help Sarah and her family live a meaningful life that is essential for her development and allows her to participate fully in life activities.